All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about this one, you know, especially on planet Earth when it comes to these human extraterrestrial aliens. You know, some people that have grew up and talk about um, they never really been expressive towards things because of the household, you know, the people that took care of them, whatever, or whatever reason, where it might be an uncle or auntie or a mom and dad or some shit like that. So... When it comes to individuals that never really been expressive, it's because, you know, anytime their their so-called mom and dad or uncle or auntie might have spoke to them, they always yelled at them or give them a, a, a slimy look. And so when this individual gets older, they're not really expressive. They're really closed off from individuals based off the experience that they had in their household which is true and it takes place a lot in the, and especially in the country of the United States, which is like, you know, Patriot land, you know, because United States is hardly, is hardly any indigenous influences as it was back then. It's, it's hardly not even indigenous influences no more. It's more Patriot like more draconian, narcissistic like in the United States. So when it comes to people who grew up and they're not really expressive towards things and they kind of be closed off and they kind of be silent, it's because of the household they, they came from, you know, where they had like siblings or, you know, a, a mom and dad or an uncle, or auntie or whoever, whoever was, uh, you know, taking care of them at the time, because we all know what it, we know what it's like, man. We know when it comes like to especially with spiritual children, these children who is otherworldly, they think like they think about some things that you can't even look up. These people, these spiritual children that grow up, for them to get back to the way they was to create who they are, to be to be able to express themselves through the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and all this stuff. They have to fight through all the fucking burdens and pains that their toxic household, their, to their toxic guardians have put them through. So when it comes to spiritual children, otherworldly children, they don't fit in this toxic ass matrix. Those who, who never really been expressive, they always been closed off because, you know, their own mom and dad would never talk to them about no spiritual shit. Or their own their own cousins or whoever never talked to them about nothing spiritual or nothing fun. You know what I'm saying? Nothing elevating. Nothing, there's no love vibration in the household, right? Nothing's elevating. So that spiritual individual who's a chosen one that grows up and grows up and grows up, they don't really express themselves. Especially people that they've known for a long time. They definitely don't do that. So and and that's not the way to go because that's where suicide comes from. These are the things that will happen. This is where suicide originated from. Suicide originated from when most of their guardians or their siblings kind of just like shunned them away because they're too spiritual. So when you're too spiritual in the matrix, it intimidates the people that's the closest to you that you've known for a long time. You know, so I mean, I can relate to those who I can relate to those that literally finally be able to express themselves through the throat chakra, the heart chakra, which is not talked about in schools, not talked about on TV, not talked about on the internet as much. So when they finally found the way to finally express themselves in more advanced divine ways, like they, they, like they was originally designed to do, they had to fight through all the fucking traumas that their toxic sociopath, psychopath guardians had put them through. Cause imagine, Cause imagine if you give your if you give your child right, and I'm making this a direct ass message because I be sick of guardians out there who kind of give their their child a toxic ass look, and just like just walk away. Like why would you do that? That's just gonna make your child be distant away from you and not want to fuck with you no more. Like seriously, cause I mean I can only imagine if that ever was to happen to me. Like, I'm definitely, and, and look, I'm not the type to want to bring natal charts in and zodiacs and stuff. 
but my natal chart has Virgo, Scorpio, and Aquarius in it. And yeah, I got Libra cups, which means that I don't got time for the bullshit. If someone give me a slimy ass look or whatever, I'm not fucking with it no more. I'm not fucking with them no more. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a chill ass person. So like with that being said, when it comes to these children who don't really be expressive in the near future when they grow up, because of the shit that these fucking toxic ass, narcissistic ass guardians that they have or whoever is in their household, don't even want to talk to them like a real, actual, soulful, intelligent being. Like say a child did something, but their guardian, their toxic ass guardian just yell at them. That's not doing nothing. If you fucking whipping them with a belt or a fucking wooden belt, you fucking abuse their ass like a toxic fucking parent that you are. And that's why I have no respect for no fucking toxic ass guardians. They're fucking demons. Like seriously. If you whoop your fucking child with a fucking belt, a fucking wooden belt, you are toxic as a motherfucker. Like seriously. You are a toxic ass narcissist. And that's what led to these children growing up to commit suicide. I swear, if I was in the position where a lot of these spiritual people had told me their stories. And if I was actually there when this stuff was happening, when they had explained to me about how their toxic ass guardians would mistreat them and just yell at them when they did something and don't even talk to them about it so they can make better choices. I would have fucking put an end to their fucking toxic ass guardians. And look, it might not look like a fucking warrior, but I will fucking erase a person. Off. I will erase a fucking narcissist off the spot. You know what I'm saying? I don't condone or tolerate toxic ass guardians. Who fucking put their fucking spiritual child through fucking bullshit. Not even want to have a fucking soulful conversation with them. Don't even have a great connection with them. That's bullshit. Like seriously. And that shit has gone on in the United States for ages and ages. For ages. It's even in all countries too. Even third world, fourth world, fifth world countries. And you mean to tell me. I mean shit. Let it. Let that shit happen to me. I mean shit. <laughs> Man. Bro, that shit, that shit is, that should be all the way messed up, son. That should be all the way messed up. That shit, that, like, them, them stories where, where spiritual, otherworldly, emotionally advanced individuals have to express themselves on, on the, on the, on the journey that they went through with these toxic ass guardians or whoever was taking care of them that treated them like nothing, always yelled at them, or, just kind of give a subliminal look. Because me, I catch on to subliminal. So if someone look at me a certain way, I catch on that they got hate for me. And I'm like, man, pfft, much prosperity to these motherfuckers. Because if someone hate on me, shit, just say that. If you got a problem, we can get in the fucking ring. And I can just box your ass out. Because I'm good with the martial arts. But... Seriously, man, like, <laughs> and this is where suicide comes from, sometimes homicide, and they take it out on others because they're fucking whack-ass, narcissistic-ass guardians didn't want to talk to them when they was growing up. They didn't want to show them fucking soulful loving because their guardians was fucking toxic as shit, sociopaths and covert-ass narcissists, you know, always trying to make shit worse for them, you know what I'm saying, and these toxic-ass guardians... They are the descendants of the Draconians, the men in black, the fucking Darrows, these slave owners that fucking false collectively program your fucking matrix to think a certain way, to not have your own way of your original thinking. Those toxic guardians that a lot of these spiritual people have talked about that they had that they went through when they was growing up. Yeah, those toxic guardians, they are descendants of these slave owners called the Draconians and the fucking Darrows and shit. They don't teach this stuff in no damn school. Not They don't teach this in no fucking Bibles. Whatever the fuck. Why? Because they hid a lot of shit. 
But for those, man, those out there right now, I'm going to tell you this. If you are currently going through a situation where you might have toxic guardians or what not have you, you having toxic ass guardians that don't treat you soulfully at all. What I can tell you, man, what I can tell you, just hang in there. Do as much as you can to connect with your spiritual family, you know, because that's the most important thing to do. These toxic guardians that's sent by these slave owners, these narcissistic draconians, they it's just, it's just to try to keep you away from your spiritual family, your otherworldly family. So me, as your spiritual family out there, even if we are not related by biological sense, I had to make this message for you. So, hang in there, man. Hang in there. Get away as possible from these toxic ass guardians that try to make your, your journey be like hell and don't bring no type of soulful elevation to the shit. You feel me? So I got to say to y'all. Because I'd be damned if someone gave me subliminal looks. I'd be damned if someone just yelled at me. I'd be damned if someone just always trying to put me down. I'll be damned. I'll be damned and that'll be the last of their existence. Trust me on that. Guaranteed. Because I'm a fucking ninja. In the angel number multiverses. And also, those angels and ancestors, they don't play about me. Those angels and them, uh, and them soulful extraterrestrial celestial ancestors, they don't play about me. And for you toxic ass guardians out there that always treat your fucking child like shit, just know that they're, the angels and the fucking extraterrestrial, celestial, and anthropomorphic ancestors, they don't play about their fucking chosen ones. They will fucking put your ass to fucking rest out of existence. Just like anybody who ever tried to fuck with me the wrong way, it didn't go too well for them because my ancestors don't play about me. My, the angels don't fucking play about me at all. <laughs>